Hi friends. Hello. Good morning everybody. My name is Maltesh. I am working as a assistant master in mathematics subject in government of Karnataka. Today I will calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following data. So this is specially Angurpur data. So here one problem is given in March 2015. Calculate variance and standard deviation for the following data that is score at data x is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So by calculate the standard deviation or variance of either group data or ungroup data. So this can be done by four methods. One is direct method and actual mean method, assumed mean method and step deviation method. Today we are discussing about the actual mean method to calculate the variance and standard deviation of the ungrouped data. So here by solving this standard deviation and variance, so here we follow three formulas. So first one is mean x bar is equal to sigma x by n and variance v is equal to sigma d square by n and standard deviation sp is equal to square root of sigma d square by n or standard deviation is equal to square root of variance by using these formulas you have to calculate the standard deviation and variance of the ungrouped data so here we write the column for actual mean method so here we write first x x means scores so here given some of the scores, we write these scores in a column, vertical column. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So and then, so by finding the x bar is equal to sigma x by n. So here, so sum of the x is equal to sigma x. So by means, so adding all scores, we get the sigma x. So means 10 plus 8, 18, 18 plus 6, 24, plus 4, 28, plus 2, 30. So here we get sigma x is equal to 30. So what is n means? Number of scores. Here number of scores means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n is equal to 5. So by using these values, we have to calculate the mean or average. So here x bar, mean or average is represented by x bar. So x bar is equal to sigma x by n means sigma x is equal to 30 and n is equal to 5. So is equal to 5 ones are 5 six are. So we get x bar or mean, mean is equal to 6. So by using this x bar we have to uh, get the value of d. How means? So here d means deviation. How to get deviation means? So x minus x bar. So x minus x bar means we write x here. 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 minus 10 minus. So now we write x bar. x bar you have to find here is 6. So 2 minus 6 is equal to minus 4. 4 minus 6 is equal to minus 2. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. 8 minus 6 is equal to plus 2, 10 minus 6 is equal to plus 4. So we get D. Here the values are called D means deviations. So again we get the D square means square of this one. So minus 4 whole square means 16, minus 2 whole square means 4, 0 square means 0, plus 2 square means plus 4 plus 4 square means 16. So by adding these values we get the sigma d square. Means sum of d square is called as sigma d square. So here we get 16 plus 4 20, 24 plus 16 40. So sigma d square is equal to 40. So now we calculate variance v is equal to sigma d square by n formula. So that is sigma d square is equal to 40 by n means 5. So 5 ones are 5 8s are. So variance is equal to 8. 
So now we calculate standard deviation. It is very easy. So square root of variance is equal to standard deviation. Square root of variance is equal to 8. So square root of 8 is equal to square root of 4 into 2. So that is equal to square root of 4 means 2 root 2. So it is equal to 2 into square root of 2 means 1.2 is equal to 2.4. So that is standard deviation of the given ungrouped data. Okay, thank you friends.